Laman Yamal's father is currently living his best life. And it's understandable since when your child is 16 years old and considered the future best player in the world, and he's the one helping Spain reach the Euro final. Well, of course, the dad can only be proud from the stands, constantly cheering on his son. Moreover, Yamal's father, Munir Nasrawi, is quite the talk on social media with his unique style and legendary poses. You can tell he is really happy with what's happening to his son, and by extension to himself, because the trajectory of his son's career has likely changed his life, given that Yamal has become a true star. Unlike some parents who also act as agents like Mbappe's, Yamal's dad seems to be just there to enjoy his son's achievements. He is extremely proud and doesn't hesitate to show his gratitude on social media, always posing with his son, pointing to him as his number one fan. However, Yamal's dad is such a fan that he made a couple of statements recently that did not go unnoticed. First, he commented on the now iconic photo of Leo Messi holding baby Yamal. When a journalist asked if Messi's hands had blessed Lamine with a divine gift, Yamal's dad simply replied, or maybe it's Lamine who blessed Leo. This shows how highly he thinks of his child because he also stated that, in his opinion, his son is better than Lionel Messi. Some fans might think he's getting ahead of himself, but no one can blame him for believing in his son. On the topic of parents who also act as agents like Mbappe's mother, the Mbappe family is making headlines again. They are reportedly ready to buy the Stade Malherbe de Cannes, currently in League Two. Considering what Mbappe has earned over the past seven years at PSG and his mother's successful investments, they now have the means to purchase a football club, even though it's not yet official. The funny part of this story is that you might remember seeing a young Kylian Mbappe in a Cannes jersey. Back in the day, young Kylian had trials with several clubs, including Real Madrid, Rennes, and Cannes. Cannes was actually very close to signing him in 2012, but financial troubles due to their relegation to League Two meant they couldn't afford him for a few tens of thousands of euros. Now it's the family of that same Mbappe who might buy the entire club, which is quite ironic. Regarding more current news, Mbappe received some good news about his nose fracture. Real Madrid is reassured by the French medical staff's latest updates, indicating significant improvement, so much so that surgery might not be necessary. If that's the case, Mbappe would only be out for two weeks, not affecting his scheduled return in early August or his presentation next Tuesday at noon. Even though Real Madrid is expected to have a fantastic squad next season, Barcelona might also have one of the best teams on paper. Nico Williams' transfer to Barcelona is only a matter of time, with a five-year contract being offered. This means Barcelona could have Nico Williams on one side, the rising star Yamal on the other, and a top-form Lewandowski up front, currently training with his wife. The midfield will still feature Gundogan, De Jong, Pedri, and the returning Gavi, who is recovering quickly. Despite the Barca real rivalry, it's clear that in Spain, there are no more barriers. Carvajal praised Laman Yamal yesterday and shared some interesting anecdotes. Laman Yamal is a very good boy, always with Nico, calling each other brother. When I was 16, I won the Champions League and thought I was the king of the world, and Yamal is making the difference with the Euro. He also mentioned that Yamal took a nap on the bus before the match against Germany, showing his calmness. Moreover, Carvajal has been trying to convince his friend Rodri, currently at Manchester City, to join Real Madrid. Sin duda. Ya, bueno, yo solo digo todos los días. Deja Manchester, que no hay sol. Vente a Madrid, que te necesitamos, que... Además, tú eres de aquí, de Madrid, no sé qué. ¿Y qué te dice? Sí, no, es que tengo contrato, aquí no hay cláusulas, no sé qué, tal. Me da largas, me da largas, pero... Es buenísimo. Sería el fichaje. Es buenísimo. Sin duda. Es, o sea, es un espectáculo. Siendo español en Madrid, yo creo que encajaría perfecto.